Hi guys, and this is Jeff. As always, it has really been a while that I've seen you guys. Obviously because COVID happened even in Sydney and we were actually quite hard hit back in March and April if you have seen my vlog. Right now, the situation has improved quite a lot. So people started like going out and, and eat out again and even they started a staycation. So I am doing the same thing today. And I'm like, hmm, might as well just book like a hotel within Sydney and do like a staycation vacation why not and also to support the local economy right so here i am today at Ovalo Wulumulu and so far i actually had like a really good impression the service that they gave was top notch and even as i caught them they actually make jokes and they were trying to create this like really young vibe they actually use like slangs and all that so i'm like oh this is actually quite a refreshing place as compared to checking into like your usual luxury four seasons or shangri-la etc etc so this is a place that is definitely more like young and hip as you can see so far uh, Overlord Hotel actually gave me a really good impression and I really can't wait to see what this place has in place. So follow me guys, I will take you guys to a hotel tour. Everyone, just let this view sink in for a moment. At this Overlord Hotel is located at Bulimulu, you're in a prime position to get some amazing waterfront views of Sydney Harbour here. And ladies and gentlemen, your check-in counter will be at the left-hand side once you enter the entrance. The whole check-in process was smooth and I got my keys very quickly. Ah, one important thing is that the receptionist also reminded me of three perks at this hotel as they listed on their website too. To be honest, it's a pretty sweet deal on paper. Stay tuned throughout the video guys and I will tally this up to show you the total value that you can potentially get from these perks. Because of COVID, the hotel has installed sanitizing stations throughout the building. Look at this, even their hand sanitizers come with a fun description. Not just it adds a bit of personality to the hotel, these measures definitely make me feel safer during my stay here as well. So I've been given my keys and we're heading to the 5th floor, aka the top floor. Also, this is where the suites are. As I'm taking the lift, there's some funky music going on. Yeah boy! Here we are on the 5th floor, let's get to my room. Oh, where's my room? Follow me here! Here we are, room 527. Alrighto! Today I'm staying at the main suite, specifically this the city food loft, which is actually divided up into two levels. Very rare to see in a standard hotel room. As you can tell here, the stairs are just right at the entrance when you enter the room. Pretty cool, eh? My first reaction is to go upstairs and check out the upper level. So I did. So pretty much what you get upstairs is the king size bed and the main bathroom. So far it gives a very neat and modern feel. Can we please just appreciate how artistic this bed is? With the artwork on the headboard and the bird decals on the side of the wall. And can I safely say the bed is sturdy yet comfy and the pillows are soft and fluffy. Will that translate to a good night's sleep? I hope it will. Jumping onto the bed, you get a TV at the right hand corner and the feel of the lower level of the loft on your left. Nice right? Okay, shall we check out the bathroom too? Wow, look at this bathtub. So clean that it kinda shines through my eyes and it has a very good size too. And of course for a 5 star hotel, you would expect a separate shower and toilet for your comfort. And personally, I'm taking this influencer style mirror too. And just to sum up my impressions towards the hotel room so far, I will show you a bit of a writing ASMR. Okay, let's head downstairs for some food and drinks. This is their restaurant slash bar called Alibi. You'll probably find yourself coming here more often than you think you would as part of the hotel perks. Wait for it guys, because this is actually the main part of my stay. While you wait, remember to be smart and stand apart. Alright, room perks. To start off with, the room price actually includes a free happy hour drink. So I opted for a glass of white wine. And to my surprise, the white wine actually came with some free nibbles as well. Jackpot! This could have costed around $15 or up at a normal restaurant. We'll put that on the perks tally. 
Happy hour is over and I got back into my room. I was supposed to do more touring on the lower level of the loft, but the mini bar here just really got my attention. Why? Because I've been told that as part of the room perks, everything here is free to take. Yes, including the alcohol is for free. Imagine that! Everything here is pretty standard. You got your soft drinks, juice, water, beers, etc. Oh, and some chocolate too. But what really caught my eye is this though. A rosé in a can? Let's check this out. Cheers. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe I'm just not a rosé fan. Alright, calculation time. This all up is likely to cost maybe $40, so let's add that to the perks tally too. And if you're a tea 2 fan, you might be happy that some of your favourite teas are available in your room. Anyway, let's get back to the hotel tour. Yep, there is actually a toilet downstairs too. It's quite spacious here. As you continue walking in, there's a small corridor that leads you to the lounge room. You also get a fair bit of natural light from the windows as well. Over here, you have a nice couch with some pretty bold choice of colours, like the greens and the reds in the lounge room, which I think is nice, and it matches well with the other elements within the room too. On the opposite side of the room, you have your full tech stack, with the TV, Bluetooth speaker, iPad, and even an Amazon Alexa. Hey Alexa, what's the weather like right now? In Elizabeth Bay, it's 18 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Tonight, you can look for clouds with a low of 13 degrees. Enjoy your evening. And you can tell the tech here is quite up to date. And this TV is not just any TV, it is actually Apple TV. And you know what? You can even go onto Netflix with this Apple TV too. It's a bit slow as you can see, but still pretty impressive as there aren't a lot of hotels that have installed Netflix for their guests at this point. Did someone say snapback? Yes, as part of the hotel perks, you also get a bag of snacks for free. Let's open this up. You have your chocolate, chips, Haribos, lollies, and even some healthy snacks. This would have costed an arm and a leg at a normal 5 star hotel. Yet, they gave this out for free. Amazing! Calculation time! This is going to cost roughly $15 all up. Let's add that up to the tally. Oh yeah, you get this cool looking tote bag too. Definitely taking this home. Just a side note, I'm actually coming here for my birthday. So they have arranged this birthday cake for me, for free. It is not really listed as part of the official room perks. Make a request in your booking if you want some more goodies for your birthday. And the cake tastes pretty good too, just as it looks. That is it for today, and I will go to sleep, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning crew! Before I start, first of all, check out this view. Ooh la la! Not just the mechanic curtain just now is really cool. This is certainly a million dollar view. With the nice bed and the pillows, I had a good night's sleep and woke up feeling refreshed, which is nice. So now, let's get changed and head to the restaurant. Why is that? because this is also part of the room perks, where breakfast is included for every room type that you are staying in. Amazing! So here we go again, we're coming back to the hotel's restaurant, Alibi. But this time around, we are heading towards the end of the restaurant, and this is where they host their free breakfast. Apologies that I forgot what was actually available on the menu for the free breakfast, but from my memory, there weren't too many choices. Not complaining though, because you essentially get this for free. So I had the oatmeal and also the continental breakfast that contains some pastry and fresh fruits. I have to say it's pretty decent for a free breakfast. 
The bread is well toasted and it goes really well with the apricot spreading. And of course, you can't beat the quality of fresh fruits in Australia. And the oatmeal is quite filling too. Calculation time! A breakfast like this could easily cost $20 at a proper cafe. Adding this to the perks tally, and that brings the total to $90. Ta-da! Just to put that into perspective, I probably ate and drank almost one quarter worth of the room value. That's really good, eh? Before I left, I just want to check the drinks that I had, the cake that I've left, and of course, how could I forget the snack bag? Definitely taking this home. I had such a great time, and it's time to go. Overall, I'm really impressed with the failure of the room perks that you could get from this day. And certainly, this is one of the main draw cards from Ofalo. And of course, this boutique hotel may not be the most luxurious, but it is still classy and gives off young and playful vibes. And the use of bold colours throughout the hotel is very refreshing too. If you are liking what you are seeing, definitely come and check it out, because this is certainly a thumbs up from me. So, what do you think about the hotel? Leave a comment down below too and let me know. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.